$249. That's what it cost. Is this the budget tablet to get? Let's find out. I'm talking about the Samsung Galaxy Tab A 10.1 with S Pen. Yes, that is a mouthful. This is the latest and greatest Samsung tablet with pen support, replacing last year's 9.7 inch model. So let's take a look at what we get in the box. Obviously we get the tablet, we get a micro USB cable and the charger. And the cool thing is you also get some extra nibs for the S Pen, which is a nice touch. While last year's Galaxy Tab A 9.7 was a great tablet, it suffered from poor screen resolution at only 720p. This year, Samsung upped it and improved the resolution to a full HD 1920 by 1200 or 223 ppi. This is no retina display, but it's still good looking nonetheless. The screen does suffer from high reflection. It's a fairly glossy screen, so if you're using this with bright lights, or outdoors in the sun, it could be a distraction. The tablet is powered by a 7,300 milliamp battery, which gives you up to about 14 hours of use or 13 hours of video playback, according to Samsung. I have not tested this, but I can say that the battery life has been fantastic. I've used this for about three days now without having to charge it. Samsung's battery claim seems to be on the mark. The battery life does come at the expense of a little extra weight. It is just over a pound, or 1.22 pounds to be exact. It's about as thick as an iPad 1. It has a little bit of an odd aspect ratio, if you, as you can see. It's kind of an extended, long shape. I couldn't tell you the exact aspect ratio, but the only issue with that is when you do full screen videos such as YouTube or whatever, you're going to have black bars on the top and bottom. The tablet is run by a 1.6 gigahertz Exynos 7870 octa-core processor and three gigabytes of RAM. If you get the non S Pen model, it only comes with two gigabytes of RAM. And for those who care about benchmarks, you will be disappointed. So here are the scores. It gives you a single core of 684 and a multi-core score of 3240. But don't let the scores deceive you or sway you from this tablet. The real world usage of this has been excellent. I haven't noticed any lag whatsoever. For those of you who like to game, it runs games just fine. Here's a little Modern Combat 4. As you can see, the sound is actually not bad either. You've got two mediocre speakers on the bottom. They're not great, but um, they do the job. They're adequate. As you can see, it plays the game just fine. Doesn't stutter at all. And this is a fairly graphic intense game. The Tab A only comes in one storage capacity, and that's 16 gigabytes, which may sound like a deal breaker, except for the fact that it has a micro SD card slot, which will accommodate up to 256 gigabytes micro SD cards. And yes, you can still mount the apps to the SD card. It also has one micro USB 2.0 port, which allow you to attach thumb drives or other low power USB peripherals. If you use an OTG cable, which can be had on Amazon for only a few bucks. For those who like to use tablet cameras, it has a two megapixel front facing camera, which is more than adequate for video chat. The rear camera is an eight megapixel shooter that actually has a flash and can record 1080p video at 30 frames per second. The tablet is currently running Android 6.0 and of course Samsung's TouchWiz, which is not a bad thing. 
You have your standard Samsung UI options like running two apps at once simply by holding the left hotkey. This tablet comes in two colors, white or black, and only two variants, with the S Pen and without. Which brings me to my favorite feature, and that is the S Pen. To me, this is the crowning feature. I love how it's stowed in the tablet and is included, which again shows how good of a value this tablet is. When you remove the pen, you're presented with Air Command, which gives you up to six now customizable options, which is a new feature that I actually really like. Now when I remove the pen, I can have the apps I like to use the pen with, and I can have those apps displayed but to explain all the S Pen features would literally take up an entire video. The pen is great for taking notes using OneNote or Samsung's built-in note app. The palm rejection is flawless and I cannot see any parallax between the tip of the pen and where the lines are. The tablet also makes a great portable sketchbook. Using Sketchbook for Galaxy you can do some fairly in-depth works of art. When it comes to drawing, the tablet is way more capable than I could ever capitalize on. The only complaint would be just the ergonomics of the S Pen. It is fairly skinny, so for extended drawing or writing sessions, it could cause some strain. But since it is a Wacom digitizer, you have numerous aftermarket pen options if you so desire. The only complaint I have about this tablet is the button placement. While in landscape mode, it is fairly easy to rest your thumb on the back so what's not to love? With a bright full HD screen, excellent battery life, and the included S Pen. Oh, and I, did I mention the $249 price tag? You cannot go wrong. Personally, I'm going to be keeping this tablet, and without reservation, I can recommend it to you. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, please do so.